What's up everyone, this is Sherry talking, welcome back to my channel, in today's video we'll be talking about the secret house infiltration event. This new event brings HP caps up to 1950s, and it's actually not that good for farming, because the characters that are featured here are pretty limited, only Shadow Attribute attackers, Romancing Saga 1 series, others, and the featured styles from the banner. So, there is at least one good thing about these events, that it drops keys. These gold keys here, you see by clearing the stages, will help you get some stuff. Let's talk about this first. Well, you can get 250 of the keys and run a, a spree, and you have a chance of getting red keys. The red keys will then give you a run where you get a guarantee of the gold pieces of your desired characters. So that's a way for you to uncap your characters. But that would take a lot of farm because the keys don't drop in big numbers. But you should just focus on the days that it lasts. As you can see here, it's for one week at least. And then there will be a bonus drop. So you get even more keys. As you see here, there's a schedule. And then you can use this for one week more. So focus on the farming first. Uh, with that said, let's go back here and talk about the event itself and the shop. First, the shop. The shop has some interesting things. You can get red keys directly here by purchasing. The price increases and you probably have to pay a lot after some time. You can even purchase gold keys as well. Uh, there is a new style here. This welfare down is actually very good for <laughs> a welfare. Uh, he gets uh, decreasing damage can stealth, heal, and increases our own drop by the highest value in the game. Uh, if you're running some events where you are focused on dropping gold, bring him, he'll increase that by a lot. And his attacks are pretty good, he steals his attack from UDX Darkit. This one is an Amplify over a very old skill that's now super good on only 8 BP and triple S, and x -trust is an AoE attack with Pierce and Slash. So he even works on this event for farming if you want. And then there is this S. Pharaoh style that doesn't help much because she's more of a single target damage dealer and triangle kick is the only thing that will matter in her double S style. There is this happier as well, but this one is just for those that don't craft weapons. You can get much better ones. Then book, simplify badges, and there's that. Now, I want to talk about the event itself. There are 20 stages in the romancing battle. The romancing battle will be in a different video. Uh, here you'll be getting the bronze materials, the bad, the bad ones, they are not so good, but well, it is what it is. Uh, there are two waves of enemies, we have two enemies in a row and then three enemies in a row in the second wave. They are weak to three different elements, being blunt, pierce and shadow, pretty unique aptly. Uh, but since we don't have many row attacks, I'll mostly be covering with full AoE attacks with characters with good cycles. Let's talk about the first squad. Well, in that one, I bring Deadly Pierce X as a formation, because this one increases the X30 and the attack order. So, I'm gonna bring uh, Perfect Remedia. If you have her, she's pretty strong with Wild Wild, wild Shot, but you can also bring Misha. My Misha is only level 30, that's why I'm not bringing, but once you have it fully trained, it, it works just the same. And the other character will be Leon. Leon is here because of Random Shot, but not just Random Shot. He also increases damage on a start of a round, so pretty unique and strong. He's using the Remembrance Gun, but you don't need... You just will prefer a 70% damage weapon with Bolt. Okay, so here we are. Because of that increased attack order, the other characters won't attack. Unless they have fast attacks. <laughs> See? My uh, immediate has a weapon with 70-something percent increasing damage. As you see, pretty close to 110,000 HP for each of these enemies. Another very good combo with Deadly Pierce X is one composed of UDX Darket. You're going to get Sword Ballet Plus, so increase Kaleidoscope to 16. And then Monica, also using similar setup. This one needs Sword Ballet Plus, increase Double Cross to 15. And they both are going to attack with the same attack. I believe you need 70% plus with Bolt, but even lower than that should suffice. Sword Blade Plus is actually pretty strong. It's stronger than Orange Blade Plus. 
for example. We are doing 125,000 here on my end. So that's why I said 70% should be enough. There we go. Now, since the enemies are weak to shadow damage, well, bring Amazon Raid X with Saruin in the front line. It's going to do a lot of damage, he's still a very powerful farmer. And just increase the minus 16, he's going to use Destructive Blow twice. Another card that also works pretty well is for Nils, with his human style, and you should inherit Spinning Trample. Here's just the same case, you should bring weapons with 70% plus, and then it will work. Also, Saruin does not need to trigger his passive to increase damage, but if he does, you see big numbers here. He just did, so 80% along 55. Yeah, he did again. If he doesn't, it's just like 67,000 HP. But even without triggering, it always works it for me. Still using Amazon Redax, another strategy that works is the one that we got with Mantrak number 4 banner. We just use Shining Glory as inheritance from her UDX style. She's on the front line, and then in the back we have Alosis with Grand Trample. Just uh, bring someone with low agility here in the front line so that it does not break the sequence. Well, Shining Glory is very strong here because it also buffs the second character. So 64 by itself, pretty high damage, and then Grunt Trumple now boosted. Gets a lot, 80,000. I tried to use uh, Twin Penetrate, but, well, the second wave, it didn't have enough damage to kill. So Shining Glory is the way to go. Even got a combo here, it's not needed. Well, the next formation is Magia Fight. I am using Subir in the front line because he's a fast attacker that attacks twice. And you have to leave Vortex Spear on 11 and just use Wave Trust. And here in the back, you're going to bring Bertrand UDX style with Abaddon Hands Inherited. Well, this is yet another instance where the weapons should be around 70%. We go uh, pretty close to the HP cap of his enemies. So 70% weapon for both characters is essential. And now for the last, I switch it to Magical Shower X. Uh, you have to bring two mages in the back. And you can even bring Maximus, Rock Bouquet if you want, but the good thing is that Shira is a featured style. If you have her new style, it's even better. You can even import Hint of the Night Wind to use it twice. And another character that works is Creator, but you should inherit Creator's right hand. This is a row attack and relies on the S style from the event. Uh, but there's also Eagle Maul that should work well, but then you need a very powerful weapon because Eagle Maul can just open with strong attack and then use a weak one. Or he is in this formation here, uh, the damage is enough. Again, you should bring 70% damage weapons. So here we go, this formation increases the turn order. And if you are using Shira, she is a fast attacker. So it's even easier to not mess up with the attack order. Now, boss turn. Creator's right hand is actually pretty good here. And sometimes he can do this thing. Yeah, killing the wave by itself. Well, that was the last video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you soon in the next one. Bye.